professional engineers, professional geoscientists, licensees, and professional licensees are licensed and regulated by APEGA. Currently, joint regulation of professional technologists, also referred to as PTEX, is done through joint boards and committees. Boards and committees are made up of an equal number of APEGA and ASSET appointed members, and one public member appointed by the Government of Alberta. Other categories of technologists and technicians, such as Certified Engineering Technologists, also known as CETs, and Certified Technicians, also known as CTECs, once registered, become members and are regulated by ASSET alone. CETs and CTECs are granted a protected title only and do not have the right to independently practice engineering or geoscience. Professional engineers and professional geoscientists must have a four-year university degree combined with demonstrating four years of acceptable experience. These education and experience requirements prepare professional engineers and geoscientists to undertake complex problem solving, to use complex methodologies, and to apply high degrees of judgment. A professional engineer or geoscientist is licensed with a full scope of practice, meaning they are authorized to practice engineering or geoscience without limitations or exclusions. The shaded area shows the breadth and complexity of a full scope of practice for a professional engineer or geoscientist. A professional licensee, also known as a PL, requires two years of acceptable post-secondary education, plus six years of acceptable experience supervised by a licensed professional. Their experience must include and demonstrate two years within their defined PL limited scope of practice. The PL scope of practice is narrower than that of a professional engineer or geoscientist. The PL limited scope is unique to each individual based on their specific experience and requires an individual assessment of their competencies. PLs may work independently and must have demonstrated the ability to apply complex problem solving using complex methodologies within their defined and limited scopes. They may independently authenticate within their limited scope. Professional technologists require two years of acceptable post-secondary education, plus six years of acceptable experience, supervised by a licensed professional. Their experience must include and demonstrate two years within their defined PTEC limited scope of practice. PTECs are licensed with a scope of practice that is to problem-solve using routine application of existing codes and standards and established methodologies. The PTEC scope of practice is more limited than a PL and is confined to practicing within the application of routine codes and standards and does not move into complex problem-solving and methodologies. A PTEC scope is unique to each individual based on their specific experience and requires an individual assessment of their competencies. They may work independently and may authenticate their work within their limited scope. The factors that differentiate a scope of practice for a professional engineer or geoscientist, a professional licensee, and a professional technologist are education and the evidence demonstrating experience using complex problem solving and methodologies and the ability to apply a high degree of judgment. Complex problem solving and complex methodologies are vital in situations where the code or standard is not prescriptive and may only stipulate the outcome to be achieved without specific directions on how to achieve the outcome.